An Indian Su-30 Mk-1 fighter was used to test the domestically developed new generation anti-radiation missile NGARM Rudram off the country's east coast. This missile has the ability to detect enemy radars on the ground and hit targets with pinpoint accuracy. India on Friday, September 10, 2020 successfully tested the anti-radiation missile, Rudram, of the Su-30 Mk-1 fighter aircraft to secure its long border. Rudram is the first domestically made anti-radiation missile developed in the country. With this, India has built the capability to develop long-range air-launched anti-radiation missiles to strike enemy targets, communications sites and other radio frequency RF transmitting targets. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, via Twitter, announced this success as, an extraordinary achievement. The missile is activated with broadband capability, enabling it to select a target among the various transmitters it is seen at the time. It can detect frequencies from a distance of 100 km and strike at a distance of between 100 and 250 km. According to the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, the missile has INS GPS navigation with a passive homing head for the final strike. He added that this missile is a powerful weapon for the Indian Air Force to destroy enemy targets, effectively from a long distance. Rudram hits the radiation target with pinpoint accuracy. Passive homing head can detect, classify, and target targets through a wide frequency band as programmed. India has carried out a series of missile tests recently. Successful tests of the laser-guided anti-tank missile and the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile have also been carried out. The Suhoi Su-30 is a twin-engine, two-seat supermaneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Suhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multirole fighter for all weather, air-to-air -air and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. The Su-30 started out as an internal development project in the Suhoi Su-27 family by Suhoi. The design plan was revamped and the name was made official by the Russian Defense Ministry in 1996. Of the flanker family, the Su-27, Su-30, Su-33, Su-34 and Su-35 have been ordered into limited or serial production by the Russian Defense Ministry. The Su-30 has two distinct version branches, manufactured by competing organizations, NAPO and the Irkut Corporation, both of which come under the Suhoi Group's umbrella. NAPO manufactures the Su-30 MKK and the Su-30 MK2, which were designed for and sold to China, and later Indonesia, Uganda, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Due to NAPO's involvement from the early stages of developing the Su-35, these are basically a two-seat version of the mid-1990s Su-35. The Chinese chose an older but lighter radar so the canards could be omitted in return for increased payload. It is a fighter with both air supremacy and attack capabilities, generally similar to the US F-15E Strike Eagle. Irkut traditionally served the Soviet air defense and, in the early years of flanker development, was given the responsibility of manufacturing the Su-27 UV, the two-seat trainer version. When India showed interests in the Su-30, Irkut offered the multirole Su-30 MKI, which originated as the Su-27 UB modified with avionics appropriate for fighters. Along with its ground attack capabilities, the series adds features for the air superiority role, such as canards, thrust vectoring, and a long-range phased array radar. Its derivatives include the Su-30 MKM, MKA, and SM for Malaysia, Algeria, and Russia respectively. The Russian Air Force operates several Su-30s and has ordered the Su-30SM variant as well. The integrated aerodynamic configuration, combined with the thrust vectoring control ability, results in high maneuverability and unique takeoff and landing characteristics. Equipped with a digital fly-by-wire system, the Su-30 is able to perform some very advanced maneuvers, including the Pugachev's Cobra and the tailslide. These maneuvers quickly decelerate the aircraft, causing a pursuing fighter to overshoot, as well as breaking a Doppler radar lock, as the relative speed of the aircraft drops below the threshold where the signal registers to the radar.
The aircraft features autopilot ability at all flight stages including low altitude flight in terrain following radar mode, and individual and group combat employment against air and ground sea surface targets. Automatic control system interconnected with the navigation system ensures route flight, target approach, recovery to airfield and landing approach in automatic mode. First talks about acquiring of new fighter for the Indian Air Force began in 1994. A year later, Suhoi Design Bureau has started working on the new fighter based on the original Su-30 design, which later evolved into Su-30MK Modernizerovani Komercheski, Modernized Commercial, and ultimately into Su-30MKI Modernizerovani Komercheski Indiski, Modernized Commercial Indian. On 30 November 1996, Russian state company Razvoruzhani, now Rosober One Export, and Indian Defense Ministry has signed a contract for development and production of 8 Su-30Ks and 32 Su-30MKIs for the Indian Air Force. In March to July 1997, all 8 Su-30Ks of the order were delivered at Lohagaon Air Force Base in India. On 28 December 2000, as part of the Russian-Indian cooperation, a contract worth more than US$3 billion was signed for license production of 140 Su-30 MKI fighters at Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, production plant in Nashik. Between 2002-2004, in accordance with the 1996 contract, 32 Su-30 MKIs were built by Irkutska Aviation Plant for the Indian Air Force. From 2004 onwards, production is carried by HAL. In 2007, India cleared to buy another 40 Su-30 MKIs for a total of $1.6 billion. In March 2010, it was reported India and Russia are negotiating a contract for additional 42 aircraft. The contract worth US$1.6 billion was signed in December 2011, increasing the total number of ordered aircraft up to 272. In March 2020, India has completed the production of all 272 Su-30 MKIs ordered under previous contracts. The country is also considering acquisition of 12 more fighters to compensate losses over nearly 20 years of operation. And in 2020 India's Suhoi Su-30 now carries a new generation of anti-radiation missile NGARM.